For hours around the world, people glued to their screens, watching one of Europe's oldest and most renowned landmarks up in flames. The blaze in the Notre Dame Cathedral is now completely contained, and in broad daylight, authorities are getting a better sense of the damage and exactly how it might have happened. This is Interior Minister Christophe Castanet this afternoon. The central has been preserved. Notre Dame has not collapsed, but it's the subject of attentive follow-up because there are still risks at the moment, so we're being vigilant. The state prosecutor was very clear. There is nothing that inclines us to think that there's anything but an accident. But in any case, we have close to 50 investigators mobilized, and we're studying everything, and all the truth will be revealed. Contributor Eduardo Quay joining us up from Paris and from the Notre Dame Cathedral. Eduardo, what do you understand at this point is the extent of the damage, including some of those prized artworks that were inside the cathedral when the blaze hit? Well, the extent of the damage, uh, they're still trying to figure it out. But the good news is that it seems to be less than uh, we could have expected, given the intensity and the violence of this fire. Uh, for example, the uh, glass windows, uh, the rose windows, seem to have uh, survived quite miraculously, really. Uh, you would have thought that they would have collapsed, but they didn't. What is the extent of the damage they suffered is not known, but at least they're still in place. Also, they did uh, manage to uh, save the crown of thorns, the crown that Jesus is said to have uh, be, uh, worn on his way uh, to the crucifixion. They also saved a great number of other artifacts. In fact, at one point, the police, the firemen, and city officials formed a line uh, while the fire was raging uh, to try to get out as many of these uh, uh, artworks as possible. Uh, the organ of the cathedral also seems to be in better shape than was thought. It is not burnt, but uh, we don't know, of course, if it's in uh, how, what the extent of the damage is. Uh, experts say the damage was more likely to have come from water rather than from fire. But, of course, the entire roof of the cathedral, known as the forest, uh, made of wood, uh, made in the 13th century from uh, trees that uh, the size no longer exists, in French forests, that completely burnt down. The interior is in very bad shape, but the structure of the cathedral seems to have uh, um, stood to this uh, terrible violence of this fire. And Edward. that is very good news indeed. Yesterday, there were serious fears that the cathedral simply would not be able uh, to be standing, but it is standing, as you can see behind me. It seems to be in relatively good structural shape. And this is, of course, a tremendous relief uh, right. for the French and for everyone around the world. Eduardo, as we just heard from the interior minister, he says there is no reason to think this was not an accident. Is there any further understanding of what exactly caused the fire in the first place? Well, the theory is that uh, it was caused by perhaps negligence. Uh, uh, there were a lot of workers up on that roof uh, since uh, for the last several weeks. Uh, there had been theories that there was, in fact, the fire had started some days ago and nobody really noticed it, which seems uh, incredible, but apparently this has happened in the past. Uh, the uh, cathedral of uh, the church of uh, Saint-Sulpice here in Paris, a uh, very famous church, uh, also had a small fire about three weeks ago. Uh, so these things do happen. Uh, for the moment, authorities are pretty confident that this is an accident, that it is not, for example, a terrorist activity or, or somebody who went out to set this fire on purpose. But the investigation will have to figure that out. Uh, since last night, some of the workers that have, were on the roof working in the cathedral have been interrogated by authorities, but we're only at the very, very beginning of what will be a long process. Right. In terms of a long process, Eduardo, there's such wide ranges of estimates in terms of how long the reconstruction could take. What are we looking at to bring Notre Dame back to what it was? 
Well, uh, the, uh, uh, the estimates, as you say, vary widely, but uh, realistically, we're probably looking at 20 to 30 years to bring Notre Dame back uh, to what it was, if, if it can ever be brought back to what it was. Uh, historians point out that the church, over its 850-year history, has changed dramatically. There have been many reconstructions, renovations. It's really a living monument, and although they will certainly try to restore it to its original uh, what it was originally or what it became over the centuries, it will be a long, long process, and uh, any realistic uh, estimate would have to be decades and not years. All right, Eduardo Cuella in Paris at the Notre Dame.